In today's show, Bitcoin bottomed, says top investor, as institutional inflow hits record high. In this recent interview, Tor Demeester goes on to share that he sees Bitcoin anywhere between 50,000 and 100,000, stating that the crypto will not fall back below 6,000 ever again. I'm going to be breaking this down for you in today's show. He also shared on crypto Twitter, 12 months ago, Bitcoin broke out of its accumulation phase and reaccumulation started. A breakout of this ban will likely ignite another parabolic rally. So as you can see, Tor Demeester is very bullish. I'll be giving you the full bullish outlook here in today's episode. Also in today's show, Chainlink, the most bullish altcoin of 2019, partners with Korean tech giant to boost blockchain and crypto mass adoption. Some very bullish Chainlink news to share with you in today's show. We're also going to be taking a look at the overall cryptocurrency market. As you can see, Bitcoin just above that $9,700 support. Some of the altcoins are in the red. Some of the altcoins are in the green. Where's the Bitcoin price likely to go from here? Find out all this plus so much more in today's show. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every single day. So be sure to smash that subscribe button and click that bell icon to receive notifications of the latest premium crypto news. And before we kick off today's show, if interested in learning from the Wall Street legend who picked Apple back in 2003 and Bitcoin in 2016 as he shares his number one pick of the 2020s, they're calling it the investment of the decade. Right now, there is a mad rush in corporate America. It involves Amazon, Google, Microsoft, and Facebook. They're all betting on a new technology that the World Economic Forum projects will soar 295,000% over the next seven years, but it's not AI, the Internet of Things, or 5G. To discover what it is, click the link below this video in the description and watch this exclusive presentation from the one and only Tika Tawari. All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV, and let's dive right into today's top story of the day. Bitcoin continues to show impressive price trends amidst a coronavirus-induced gloomy macroeconomic outlook. The crypto's price has ballooned by circa 150% after bottoming out near 3,800 on March 13th of 2020. Meanwhile, analysts and traders are betting on its extended growth, with the price prediction model even envisioning it above $280,000 by 2024 as per the stock to flow model. Adding his forecast to a long list of bullish predictions is Tor Demeester, an influencer known for investing in Kraken, a U.S.-based crypto exchange via his fund Adamant Capital. And taking a look at his tweet here on crypto Twitter, 12 months ago, Bitcoin broke out of its accumulation phase and reaccumulation started. A breakout of this ban will likely ignite another parabolic rally. And as we can see here, it shows the accumulation phase and then reaccumulation phase. And then he goes on to share here our new report, Bitcoin and heavy accumulation is out. And I'll include this in the show notes below the video in the description for you to reference and check it out. Mr. Demeester says he sees the Bitcoin price anywhere between $50,000 and $100,000, stating that the crypto will not fall back below $6,000 ever again. The bold prediction surfaced the day after the Bitcoin options opened interest on the CME rose to near $150 million, its highest level ever. As we can see right here on the chart, analysts treat the CME as the best gauge of interest in Bitcoin for institutional investors. Mr. Demeester used a similar metric to justify why the crypto could surge by up to 950%. If you're ready for Bitcoin to surge 950%, let me know in the comments below. The analyst noted that the crypto is entering a deployment phase, a period where big Wall Street players are beginning to associate themselves with emerging blockchain assets, as we're witnessing, right, in the news. He mentions J.P. Morgan Chase and Company, a banking institution that once treated Bitcoin as fraud money, as per Jamie Dimon, right, suddenly embracing two of the biggest U.S. crypto firms as its clients. And that's a fact because Chase is the largest bank in the United States, and they're now doing uh, business with a few uh, major clients, which is pretty cool. And in this interview, I'll also include it in the show notes below the video, but let me complete giving you some of the highlights. The Wall Street makeover of Bitcoin also continued with considerable investment from Paul Tudor Jones, 
The billionaire hedge fund manager, as Mr. Demeester pointed out, recently put 1% to 2% of his portfolio's worth into Bitcoin futures. That validated the crypto as insurance against global market risks. Here's what he said. It's a land grab phase, said Mr. Demeester on the ongoing institutional influx. You know, Bitcoin is going to be big, and it is not correlated with traditional financial systems. Institutions are staking their claims and see what is going to be built atop. Bitcoin later. Family offices, billionaires, hedge funds, and the interest of other prominent investors in Bitcoin could quickly push the price above $50,000 he added, which is a 500% price increase from where we're currently at. And also hyperinflation meets Bitcoin scarcity. In his investment letter sent out earlier this month, Mr. Tudor Jones admitted that he invested in Bitcoin futures because he wants to hedge against inflation caused by the U.S. Federal Reserve's unprecedented monetary explosion Meanwhile, the U.S. M2 money stock, which serves as an inflation indicator, also showed a spiked up cash supply in the U.S. system. The wave in the graph below represents a measure of the U.S. money supply that includes cash, savings deposits, cash deposits, mutual funds, money market securities, and certificates of deposit, as we can see at an all-time high. Mr. Demeester, like Mr. Tudor Jones, noted that much of institutional money will flow into the Bitcoin market because the crypto is inherently anti-inflation. That roughly means that the devalued dollar would increase the price of the assets around it. A $200 bicycle, say, would be worth $1,000, noted Mr. Demeester. The question is, what's the U.S. dollar worth after the COVID-19 pandemic leaves the Fed with a balloon balance sheet. Institutions see the greenbacks fall already, so Bitcoin is emerging as one of their bets against inflation and even hyperinflation. So let me know your thoughts surrounding this and Mr. Demeester being very bullish, seeing the Bitcoin price climbing to fifty to $100,000. Let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments right down below. And before we get to our next story of the day, Chainlink partners with Korean tech giant to boost blockchain and crypto mass adoption. Let's first take a look at the overall cryptocurrency market. Bitcoin currently above that $9,600 support, up 0.33% for the day. Still in the green, as most of the altcoins are back in the red, with Ethereum down 0.43%, trading at $211. XRP down a quarter percent, trading at $0.20. Cents. Miss Litecoin down 0.86%, trading at $44. Link is down 1.3%, trading at $3.83. Bitcoin Cash down 0.1%, trading at $246. And Satoshi Vision down almost a half a percent, trading at $198. And now taking a look at the top exchange. We can see a sea of red. Binance down 18% with 5.4 billion and only 5.4 billion in volume for the day. That's a bad day for Binance, just FYI. OKEX down 13% with 2.8 billion in volume. And BitMEX down 23% with $2.4 billion in volume. All right, now let's discuss Chainlink, the most bullish altcoin of 2019. Tika Tuari refers to this project as the missing link to the blockchain. And here's some bullish news for today. Chainlink, a leading platform in the blockchain industry for connecting smart contracts to real-world data sources, has signed a partnership with an affiliate of South Korea internet giant, Kakao. The company behind Kakao Talk, one of the most popular mobile messaging apps in all of Asia. Kakao's Klatten is the company's public blockchain project. The partnership will see the integration of Chainlink oracles with Klatten's smart contracts. Chainlink has emerged as a provider of critical infrastructure to grow the crypto sphere and the digital economy. Sergi Nazarov, co-founder of Chainlink, says its technology will provide the Klatten ecosystem with secure and reliable oracles for the next generation of decentralized applications. Let me know if you're bullish on uh, Chainlink in the comments below. According to its team of developers, here's what they had to say. Smart contracts need to interface with data feeds, events, and widely accepted payment methods that centralized digital agreements rely on to provide value by providing the building block blocks needed by complex smart contracts in the form of critical inputs and key outputs, we seek to enable the next generation of smart contracts that will step beyond tokenization to become the dominant form of digital 
agreement. Says Tseng Min Xiao, Klatman's platform group lead. Chainlink can provide Klatman with a secure Oracle framework for building blockchain applications that interoperate with traditional infrastructure, increasing our capacity to develop more advanced products across a more diverse set of markets. Last week, Chainlink introduced verifiable randomness to Ethereum with practical benefits for the blockchain gaming industry. Chainlink's tech will allow smart contracts to provide proof that applications are using a tamper-proof source of randomness beyond their control, making online games more trustworthy. So let me know in the comments below if you're bullish on Chainlink. I know it was the best performing crypto asset of 2019, and I think 2020, there's a lot more in store for Chainlink. And taking a look at the overall crypto market cap, we're sitting at 268 billion with 126 billion in volume in the past 24 hours. And the BTC dominance is on the climb, sitting at 67.2%. And taking a look at the top gainers within the top 100, we have Steam leading the pack up 21%, trading at 21 cents. Monacoin up almost 15%, trading at $1.69. Nano up 12%, trading at 84 cents. Electronium up 12%, trading at 0 0.009. Solve up 10%, trading at 13.8 cents. And Flexicoin up 7%, trading at 0 0.003. And now for the biggest losers, BHEX token down 9%, trading at 16 cents. Numeraire down 7%, trading at 20 $27. Abe down 4.6%, trading at 5 cents. Digibyte down about 4.5%, trading at 1.8 cents. Redcoin down 4%, trading at 0 0.001. And Terra down 4.2%, trading at 18 cents. And now taking a look at the BitMEX margins, we can see the bulls are back in control, leading with about 25 million in superiority. Let me actually refresh this just in case it got frozen up here. And let's see where the ball lies. Let's see, bullish or bearish, where are we at? Bulls, bears, yes, we are bullish. Definitely. So longs are leading with about 50.59 in superiority versus 49.41% shorts. Are you currently bullish or bearish? Let me know in the comments right down below. And now checking out one of my favorite indicators is the Crypto Greed and Fear Index. Shows we're back in neutral at a 50, the same as yesterday. Last week, we were a 39 in fear. And last month, we were a 16 in extreme fear. And if you're not familiar with the Crypto Greed and Fear Index, extreme fear can be a sign that investors are too worried. That can be a great buying opportunity. And when investors are getting too greedy, that means the market is due for a correction. And I want to encourage you to check out the description right below this video by clicking show more in the description right down below for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the market. This goes for all 400 plus videos right here on my channel. I also have some very helpful resources for you to plug into, including the blog to my podcast, which could be found at Crypto News Yes. Com. Not only is this updated every day, it also allows you to download the latest episode of the show in MP3 format so you can listen to it when you're out and about on your way to work working out or just doing your thing. Also, be sure to subscribe on YouTube, especially if you're watching this from a different platform to visit the YouTube channel directly. Go to CryptoNewsAlerts.net and it will take you directly here. You can also follow us on any of the major podcasting platforms, including Apple's iTunes, Spotify. We have a very active audience on Google Play, Stitcher Radio. So whichever podcasting platform you're active on, please help support the show. You can also follow us on Twitter to receive daily crypto news alerts. My Twitter handle is crypto news. Yes. So it's extremely difficult to forget. Also, I have a private crypto Facebook group entitled crypto alchemy with over 17,000 strong from all over the world to become a part of this. Simply click this link request to join and I'll be sure to plug you in and also have a private crypto telegram group for all you telegrammers out there to become a part of this. Simply click this link from a mobile device and you'll automatically be added. And I'm looking forward to connecting with you on the inside. Well, that's going to conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in and journeying along with me inside this incredible crypto revolution. If you gain value out of today's show, be sure to smash that subscribe button and click that bell icon to receive notifications of the latest premium crypto news. And real quick, before I go, if interested in learning from the Wall Street legend himself, Tika Tuari, who picked Apple back in 2003 and Bitcoin in 2016, as he shares his number one pick for the 2020s, they're calling it the investment of the decade. Right now, there is a mad rush in corporate America. It involves Amazon, Google, Microsoft, and Facebook. They're all betting on 
on a new technology that the World Economic Forum projects will soar 295,000% over the next seven years, but it's not AI, the Internet of Things, or 5G. To discover what it is, click the link below this video in the description and watch this exclusive presentation with the one and only Tika Tuari, and I look forward to catching you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.